East Bay Housing Organization's Kept Choice. I appreciate y'all. Let's rock a little bit. <laughs> sort of think of it as potentially our last great opportunity to stabilize families and communities before we see a potential eviction cliff. A spokesperson for the state's business, consumer services and housing agency says they're doubling up case management staff to handle the influx of applications. Evident from today's stories that we are listening to today, that it is time for our policymakers to ensure the well-being of people uh, through providing rent stabilization policies that will positively impact those who most. Uh, really considering this, the amount of money we spend on policing, and really, I think a solution would be to take that money that can be uh, better served in uh, other services and taking that basically having the police do less stuff i believe um that our way towards a better future is just understanding that folks are de deserving of being housed and are deserving of being um of having access to deeply affordable and decommodified housing um we need our elected officials to listen to tenant advocacy organizations who are supporting tenants um, and unhoused folks who can really account for the needs of our communities. Our leaders collaborated and advocated for large-scale, long-term investments in creating affordable homes for a thriving East Bay in the decades ahead. Right now, I, I know I couldn't survive probably a couple of nights laying on the ground. That's why Willie is an affordable housing advocate for the Residents United Network. RUN pushes policymakers to consider the voices of people who have actually experienced housing insecurity. The A's should not exempt, be exempt from financial supporting and development of affordable housing. The proposal does include $450 million in community benefits that could go to affordable housing, but that money would come from taxes from the project, not directly from the A's. This year, we had a number of successes in our work to advance racial equity and affirmatively further fair housing, including the adoption of the equity agenda and the regional housing needs allocation. The way for a city to have that public will and that political will is for people, hopefully people like you, to be making it clear to your decision makers and to your neighborhoods that you are open to supporting affordable housing and inclusive housing. Hi, EPHEL members. In 2021, we dug deep into our database to make it more efficient, which enabled us to connect more meaningfully with former and potential EPHEL members like yourselves to increase their involvement. And we were able to reach out to all, all incoming members, which we hope will help deepen their engagement with EPCO in the year ahead. Despite the ongoing pandemic, we hosted 18 online or in-person events, ranging from a rent relief information session to an art show featuring the work of artists living in affordable homes during our Affordable Housing Month. More than a thousand people have visited our new online learning tool, The Study Room. People come to us to understand how to find an affordable home in the East Bay and how to get support when they need it. Thankfully, our members have a lot of wisdom to share. The very first thing I did was make sure my I's were dotted and my T's were crossed. So if it's not an organization and a group of people that share your common values for mission, then that's going to be much, much harder. And so do your work beforehand, um, find out who they are, how long they've been around, talk to the people who've worked with them, um, do your work. That is the thing I would say, not to lose the purpose, right? And not to lose the heart because it may not happen overnight, right? And you have to be ready to understand that with affordable housing. In a land where everyone has a right through adequate and affordable housing, a day where homeless encampments will no longer exist. I will continue to pray, take whatever action I can to make this a reality in our community. Thank you. Thank you for dropping some historical knowledge on us, Damien. Love it. Oh, that was so wonderful.